Hey guys, movie fan here to do something I generally don't like to do, and that's a reaction video. Now because of the live stream I did not too long ago with my friends talking about Power Rangers, I got inspired to look up the death battle between Godzilla and the Dragon Sword. And I... Well, I wanted to share what my opinion on that. So I'm going to do it. But I'm not going to just talk about that. I'm also going to cover the Dragon Sword versus Mechagodzilla. So... This is going to be a very big reaction. Obviously, I'm going to cut past all that uh, jibber-jabber about, you know, the abilities they have, all that stuff. So, we're not going to go there. Instead, we're just going to get to what's important. So, let's start first with the Dragonzord versus Mechagodzilla. Okay, the graphics are pretty darn good, and I do love that they kept Dragon Sword's original roar. I can get those roars and half bad either. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Nice work, Dragon Sword! Let's crush this tin can! Yeah, clearly that's not Jason David Frank. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's pretty cool, they actually threw that in there. Dragon Sword's always fighting that thing. Godzilla, because the original one didn't have this gun on And I don't remember it being that maneuverable either. This isn't working. We need more power! Yeah, that's a bit off. That's Come never together. how it works. Transformation's accurate, though. Buddy mode! Powered up and ready for action! Let's finish this! Why did he just roar like original Godzilla all of a sudden? Because last I checked, he had a more steely roar. And they had that right earlier. Eh, I'm sorry. I don't buy it. I really don't. 
Sure, this Mechagodzilla has a bigger arsenal than the original one did. The original one just had a ton of missiles in his kneecaps and a belly button laser and, of course, his finger rockets, which obviously inspired the Dragon Zord. But, you know, the problem is Tommy wouldn't get himself into that kind of situation. He really wouldn't. He wouldn't be so arrogant to do that move and then just stand there and let him use that absolute zero move on him. He'd try to get out of there. And besides, he never used the Dragon Dagger to call the other Zords. It didn't work that way. He would use the Dragon Dagger to give him more power, but no. I'm sorry, I don't buy it. I do like the graphics, though, and I do like how they included that. But still, no. Eh. Anyway, let's move on to Godzilla vs. the Dragon Zord. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was way too quick. And plus, I cannot buy into that either. I mean, seriously. The Dragon Zord always used his tail religiously when he fought his enemies. Not to mention, he used those missiles a lot. And like I said before, he never had that blaster ability coming out of his chest except for the fan film Zordon of Eltar. And I'm surprised they didn't do the fin laser. Now, granted, we never saw that here in America, but, you know, the thing is, it did exist. But I think there's one more th issue that needs to be addressed, and that's this right here. The voting percentage goes 38% for Dragon Zord and 62% for Godzilla. Yeah, 38% for Dragon Zord and 62% for Godzilla. I'm sorry, I don't buy that. I really don't. I could see people voting for Godzilla more. That I could see. but. 38% for Dragon Zord? Come on. Hardcore fans of the Dragon Zord would not vote for him? <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. I've been a fan of the Dragon Zord forever, and I would have voted for him right there on the spot had I known about this. And once again, we're stuck with the same problem. Tommy would not get himself into that kind of situation where he can't get out of it. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I am biased, because, well, I've been a fan of the Dragon Zord forever. As much as I love Godzilla, my heart always belongs to the Dragon Zord. And, you know, I'm sorry, I cannot buy into how easily he was defeated. 
Not to mention, I can't buy into Mechagodzilla being so maneuverable either. I mean, he's never been that maneuverable. Oh, sure, we're saying now because of CGI he is, but yeah, I don't buy it. I just don't. Well, now the only thing to talk about is the videos themselves. I love the graphics for both of them. They're absolutely great. I think I like the Death Battle one a lot more than the Super Power Beatdown one, because at least with the Death Battle one, Dragon Zord and Mechagodzilla do look like their original counterparts. Whereas for Super Power Beatdown, well, Godzilla looks okay, except for his uh, dorsal fins. They don't look very good at all. And the Dragon Zord, while it looks like a cool upgrade, that would have made for a great follow-up in the sequel that never happened for 2017's Power Rangers. It just uh, isn't true to it. And on top of that, I'm sorry, but again, Tommy would not get himself into that kind of a situation where he couldn't get out of it. And again, he never called the other Zords with his dragon flute. It doesn't work that way. And plus, he would add help from the other Rangers. Now, to be fair, obviously, they had to keep them out of this because, well, yeah, it was supposed to be just Dragon Zord, that's it. For Death Battle, obviously, we ended up getting the fighting mode, which included the other three Zords. So, yeah, okay. Maybe they did bend the rules a little, but not by that much, though. And, again, I don't buy that only 38% voted for the Dragon Zord. I would have expected a lot more than that. So... Yeah, yeah. I could see Godzilla winning, and I could certainly see Godzilla being voted for a lot more, but not by that much, so I don't buy that. And Mecha Godzilla, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't buy it. So, and that's pretty much all I got to say. I hope you liked the video, and let me know if you think that the Dragon Zord was cheated. This is Movie Fan, signing off.